Yo, what up? It's QR Terry, and every day I ask myself, what's the future? And I take detailed notes. I store those notes in a journal. I'm getting towards the end of my day, but I did find some fascinating things. So the first thing is, we've been talking about generative AI, and right now I'm on this path where I'm really just trying to get a better understanding of AI and understand all the implications that we have of this newfound technology. One of the interesting articles that I stumbled across today was how sperm whales have this very unique clicking sound that their organs just generate and that's how they communicate. We have for the longest tried to understand it, but we haven't been able to. Thanks to generative AI, we might actually have a chance to do just that. And it's funny because it reminds me of a moment when we were trying to figure out how machine learning worked and how we could teach a machine how to play a video game. And OpenAI, what they did is they trained all these models on games and gameplay, and then they would go test the, the actual model and see if it could complete the game. And there ended up being a ton of insights that were gleaned from those experiments, so much so that a lot of the progress that we have today on the generative AI landscape is in thanks to some of the findings that we found back then. I think about generative AI and how it has changed a lot of what we understand about language and translations. Like we did an everyday's note not too long ago where we talked about what Facebook was doing and how they were translating any language into any language. Like, and you know, that they have this model and it works, we tested it. And I'll link to that in the notes again. But one of the things that just shocks me is we're moving beyond that. We're gonna be able to translate even what animals are saying. And again, this is just an experiment. This is research. They've gotten some findings, but as we've seen with research, these things evolve. And over time, we're gonna have a future where we're gonna be able to communicate with possibly other species. And this isn't something that's new. Like obviously we've been studying just different insects and animals for the longest. Like when you think about on the insect side, like we think about bumblebees, we know that they communicate through dance. When we think about elephants, we know it's a frequency that's inaudible to the human ear, very similar to that of bats. And we've seen different communication styles and we've understood largely how some of them work, never been able to discern and translate and, and understand what they're saying, but we understand how they communicate. And because of that, I think that we're moving towards a future where if we were to crack this, who knows, we might actually be able to do something straight out of Star Trek. And that to me is super fascinating. I'll leave more detailed notes in my actual journal. This is just obviously the video where we can, you can hear the audible version of me getting the thoughts out. For those that don't know where to find it, go to everydays.wtf. And until next time, I'll catch you in the future.